through since musicals became the the focus of what I do is I just want to make them exciting and happening, and I want to bring new sounds in the theater. I want to bring a visceral experience. That was one of my big goals with Rock of Ages. I wanted you to feel the experience when you walked in the theater, and I wanted it to feel alive. And I felt that for me, the types of Broadway experiences that I was having, you know, when I first started to become like a student of the theater, where I would feel stuck in my seat a little bit, and I would feel disconnected. And what I loved when I had an amazing, um, I remember seeing Sam Mendes' Cabaret, and I didn't have a, I had a communal experience with the people around me, you know, and I remember even going to some UCLA shows where I was like, oh, this feels communal. This feels like I'm having an experience with people around me. So that's the kind of theater that I wanted to create. Um, I wanted exciting sounds, I wanted new music, and I wanted to create uh, a transformational experience for the audience. They would come and feel in one way and leave feeling another, you know. Um, I learned how to do it here. And I think a lot of the reason was because this was a theater school that I was going to, there were all these different disciplines. And so for my brain, it made a lot of sense of like, oh, we just from all these different disciplines get together and we, do, we all do what we do and we make some. And so that was, that was my experience here that was really powerful for me. But you know what's so interesting is I also do see that there are a lot of really creative UCLA individuals all over the place. I, I constantly find that, um, especially graduates of the film department, Alexander Payne was who spoke at my orientation and he's always been kind of like a big hero of mine. You know. Oh, I think, I think uh, there's always um, room for growth there, and I think we keep seeing more and more. And I think we've been able to see when they really nail it, and when they don't, and when they tank. I think when they don't work is when it just is a musical on film, right? Um, and when we don't believe the context of the reality of it. Like, when the musical works is when they create a whole new world and they take us in there. And we, un we, we have a new vocabulary that we're watching as we watch the movie, like in Chicago. He would take us, he would just take our hand and pull us into the musical numbers in a way where they, they made sense to us and we understood them. Um, and it used film as a medium to capture the number in a brand new way. And I think that when directors do musical movies in an exciting way, that like there's just nothing more thrilling to watch in a movie theater. Right. You know? And that's what happened is that they became irrelevant. Right. And now that we have, we've, we've learned so much from music video culture, if we can take what we've learned there and put that into our musical movies, and kind of create a hybrid experience, then I think, you know, I think that me and Julie Tamor did that very effectively yeah, yeah. across the universe. And like just how luscious are her visuals, you want to live there, you know? Yeah. Um, and I do think that for, for a movie you have, to do, you have to open it up. I think that's the thing that excited me about Rock of Ages. Well, when we do with Rock of Ages, we start you in one setting, we base it all in one setting, but because we're there, then theatrically, we can take you anywhere, right? But it all unfolds out of this one Space, which is, I feel like, what Hedwig does too, um, and that, in a way, it creates, I think, even of a, a, a more, like, theatrical, like. Hey, let's do ya!
I'm loving God, man. Tell 